Hey folks, uh, we're out here today on a warm June Northeast Georgia day, uh, checking the tomatoes and when it gets warm and humid and summer goes on and on, we try to watch disease pressures in our garden, I mean like a hawk because anytime the leaves start turning or we get pests, it's going to weaken our plants and as hot as it is, they're just going to die or get diseased and go down and disease the rest of the plant. So what we found today Things are looking pretty good, but we seem to have an infestation of aphids, uh, particularly particularly in this little area here uh, and other places in the garden. Uh, we like to start out with like a non-chemical uh, method, and what we're going to do today is dust a little bit with diatomaceous earth. Uh, yeah, if you can get in here and see, uh, even up under some of the blooms, you'll see the little red. Let's see, you can see a few here. And if you'll look on a sunny day, just flip your leaf over and you'll see the little aphids running around or you might see the little white carcasses left over, not really carcass, but the whatever they molt when they go to a bigger insect. And uh, at some point you may have ants come in and, and try to so-called farm them um, for nectar. But we just want to nip that in the bud with diatomaceous earth. Uh, it's cool stuff here, it's diatoms, it's tiny fossils. Um, and this is a non-chemical way. Now you don't want to be careful when and where you're doing it. Um, careful your pollinators and stuff like that. But we really need to take care of these aphids. And what this does, it's just really sharp to them. It's like tiny little razors. And it helps dry their skin out. And they dry up and they'll die. And it'll kind of break the chain. Um, the best thing about this is it's not going to coat your fruit. Because as soon as it rains or you wash it off, it just washes away. So that's the best thing about it. It's also the worst thing about it. You come out today, you put it on, you apply it. As long as it's on the leaves and it hasn't been wet, it'll do its job. As soon as it, get rained, it gets rained on, or if you have a really heavy dew or something in the morning, its effectiveness is going to go way down and may not do its job, but just reapply. And this is just a food grade diatomaceous earth. You can buy it in bulk bags, you can buy it in smaller bags, but it does great at killing your aphids. And you just put it in a little duster like this that you can get at the hardware store. Uh oh <laughs> for the bloopers and, yeah for the blooper <laughs> moment oh wrong in there <laughs> hasn't been used in a while and it looks like it's clogged so we just want to get is it still going uh -huh. get up on the bottom side of the leaves and this needs a little work here it should be fanning out a little better but it'll coat the bottom side you see we screwed it up there kind of sticks on they crawl through it and it does a great job of controlling them Uh, and that's it, and they won't disappear automatically. You know, you're not spraying them down with some chemical that's just going to kill them like that. Uh, but it will control them effectively. And I recommend you try diatomaceous earth next time you have aphids.